All right, thank you very much, Wendy. Well, spring break is underway on the Sun Coast. Sarasota County students are off from school uh, this week, and Manatee County students will go on break next week. But local families aren't the only ones who will be enjoying the beach this month. ABC 7's Erica Jackson is live on Lido Beach tonight and joins us with more on what vacationers can expect. <coughs> Erica. Adam, I'm at actually in the parking lot right now of Lido Beach, and as you can see behind me, it shouldn't be too difficult for visitors to find a parking spot. Plenty of vacant spots, but earlier when I came to the beach, that was not the case. I did have some difficulty, and that could be because visitors are back, spring breakers are here, and they are here in full spring. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office and the Sarasota Police Department are cracking down on anyone acting out of line at local beaches and popular entertainment destinations. Both groups want to stop crimes before they take place. Law enforcement is paying special attention to underage drinking, drug usage and traffic enforcement. Sarasota police are warning visitors to think about the consequences before acting irrationally. If there's one common thread in all of the problems we respond to, it's, it's alcohol. And, and if people would learn to uh, control their alcohol intake, it would solve a lot of problems. And Sarasota, excuse me, Visit Sarasota County tells us that peak season for Sarasota and Manatee County on the Sun Coast usually runs from mid-February to mid-March. And that could also extend this year since Easter runs in April. Coming up tonight at 11, we'll talk to some locals about how these visitors could have a positive impact on our economy locally. Reporting from Lido Beach, Erica Jackson, Adam, back to you.